haven't gone far. Little bitch ran this way. Oh no. What is it? She stole my fucking sweet roll. Keep looking. She's around here somewhere. If she tries to escape, the boys outside will get her. Need something? What? Nakast! Hey, back off. Cause you look pretty stupid with an arrow sticking out of the middle of your face, bucko. Yeah, well, just keep your hands where I can see them. What sort of information? Come on now. Spit it out. I haven't got all day. Uh-uh. Didn't see anything like that. Although, if I did, you'd be the last to know about it. Well, there were some Thalmor sniffing around a few days ago. Watched them make that bridge over the drop. Whatever it was they were after, however, they seemed to have found it. They didn't hang around long. So, now that I've answered your questions, you can go back the way you came and forget you even saw me. It was buried under the earth by Molek Ball's lackey king who was spurned by the alien princess Pilvi Hinnish. What are you, an archaeologist or just some chancer looking for a quick septum? Who wants to know? You never know till you try. Nice try. <laughs> you and I, <laughs> we're going to get along. <laughs> I'm an archaeologist. Come on, this way. See that tree? It has something to do with the old legend. Naisel was built around a tree of life. Yeah, I know. Not exactly original as far as legends go. But, my guess is if there's a way down below into the old city, if at all there is one, we should look for some kind of opening or break in the walls or floor. You check over that side. I'll check over this side. Boy, over here. See this? This might lead somewhere. Okay, you go first. I hate caves. Yeah, right. <laughs> Whatever. Oh yeah? Who? Name? Duh. Rigmore, huh? That's some fancy name. Let's get moving.
this looks promising. Could be we found our way in. That way. Follow the eternal flames. of that, the white gold, diamond and ruby encrusted ring of the lost alien princess Hilvi Hanesh. Are you some kind of treasure hunter? Wow, you must really love her. Where is she from, this... this Rigmore? Are you for real? Nothing. Forget it. Come on. All these dead. There must have been one bloody battle fought here. But what could have had the power to do that? Here it is! Wow! Check this out! There must be something we're missing. This is so freaking amazing. Un... Unrelenting... Yeah, it says unrelenting force. You know anything about these ancient runes? What? Okay... I'm sorry I denied you. I'll follow your lead, yeah? But let's take it nice and slow. And be careful. If there is any truth to the legend of the lost alien princess, you'll probably find her in that temple. That's where I'd look. By the gods! Look 
at this place. They survived. I must have decided to stay down here. Look at the graves, Dragonborn. So many graves. This is the saddest thing I've ever seen. What the? Did you see that? Was that a ghost or something? I'm gonna stay here. You go ahead. I'll wait for you to come get me, yeah? Is it you? Have you come back for me, Ariel? Should I be afraid? I waited. I waited like you said. Oh. Millennia. They are all gone now. A long time ago. What of the world outside? Did Ariel send you to free us from this place? Because if he did, you are too late. Come. Who is your little friend? Well, that's wonderful. I haven't talked to anyone in such a long time. I would love to meet her. Look how she runs. The divines bless her little heart. Pilby Hinnish? Pilby Hinnish? As I live and breathe by the gods. Oh, uh. Please forgive me, Princess, or my lady. I didn't mean to sound disrespectful. <laughs> that is perfectly fine. Now, what is your name, and where are you from? My name is Luna Shadow, and I'm from Morrowind. Actually, I was born in Bruma, and my dad owned a stable. And I had a big thing with horses, but he wanted to get rich, so he sold everything, and we moved out many years ago. But it didn't help because he died. Oh, I am so sorry to hear. You are an archaeologist? Yeah, well, I studied in the library and everything, and the scholar took me under his wing, and he was also an archaeologist and taught me everything he knew. Then I bumped into the Dragonborn, and they was like, Fusro, da! And then the gate opened. But we thought a big fight had happened, and all those dead, burned bodies in the chamber, and I always wanted to find the lost city of Nayasel in the City of Life. Well, now you seem to have found it, Luna Shadow. And I was kinda hoping you could tell us what happened. Oh. You want to hear my story, Luna Shadow. I'm afraid it's not a very happy one. 
Many millennia ago, my people forsook their gods. The world as we knew it began to change. They turned to the Daedra for the power and riches they promised. As a result, they became corrupt and perverse. Ariel came to me in a dream and told me to lead the last of his truly devoted out of Cyrodiil and to build a new city away from the madness, away from the chaos and cruelty. We came here to Hammerfell and discovered the Tree of Life. It had wonderful, magical properties and we decided to stay and build our home on top of the mountain. We called the city Nyasil, the City of Life. From the heights we could defend our new home. No one could touch us, no one could torture us, or burn our children. You see, my people had descended into darkness. Ariel was broken-hearted. This, what you see here, is all that's left of our city, after a mad god-king called upon the power of the dark Daedric Arts and buried us deep into the earth when I refused to accept his love. The Daedra helped him in his rage of rejection and even sent their minions through hell gates, but we fought them heroically. But it wasn't enough. The earth quaked as the city was forced deeper and deeper into the ground, and it seemed all was lost. As we prepared to do what had to be done so all of us would not be taken alive, Ariel appeared as a flame god, an avatar of a dragon, and breathed fire down onto them, destroying their hell gates petrifying them into scorched effigies of rock, forever frozen in time. He created a seal to protect us, and promised he would return to free us when it was safe to do so. He gave me a diamond and ruby-encrusted ring, which contained a drop of his blood. As long as I wore the ring within the seal, I would live forever. What about the others? They all perished over time. We had no desire to live here trapped under the earth. Not knowing if we would ever be able to return to the surface. If anyone knew we were alive down here, they would probably have found a way to capture us. A fate worse than death. So to save any suffering, we had no children. It was better that way. But it was a self-inflicted wound. I failed him. I betrayed us all, and he cast me aside to forever suffer in remorse as punishment for my crime. You don't know that. Maybe he couldn't reach you. Isn't that right, Dragonborn? So, I can go home now? Things have so changed now. Cyrodiil is completely different. You could come with us. Couldn't she, Dragonborn? There's peace in the world now. Well, mostly. Dragonborn can find you a place to live in Imperial City. You know, like the Citadel. <laughs> you are so kind, Luna Shadow. But I would probably stand out and get some strange looks in this robe. I have a spare outfit. In my bag. Damn, I left it over there. Wait here, I'll be right back. Bless her. Yet, she calls you Dragonborn. Are you an avatar of Ariel?
I know it must be you. Please don't deny me. I have always loved you. Why are you forsaking me? Have I not suffered enough? Please say you have come to take me home. Ariel, I beg you. Please don't leave me here alone. I... I'm sorry. Forgive me. Did you break the seal? Then I must give you this. Please, Pilvi is fine. Ariel said I should give the ring back to him when he returned to me, or whomsoever breaks the seal. Your little friend returns. Wait here while I gather my things. Pilby! Pilby! I got you something to wear! <laughs> You won't get any strange looks with this on. Pilvy? Where are you? Pilvy? No! Damn it! No! Why does everything I touch turn to shit? Yeah, but you weren't to know. I don't know. Bum around, I guess. You're kidding, right? I think I know who it is. And you had better not be messing with my head, or... Well, come on then. What are we waiting for? Lead the way, yeah? <laughs> 